Hey y'all, it's Dawn, and I'm so glad you're back. I've got another fun, budget-friendly DIY video for you today. I made this adorable farmhouse Tierra Tray sign using the X-Tool D1 laser engraver. I purchased this laser engraver from Amazon, and I have to say, it is amazing. I've been playing around with it for a couple of weeks now and have finally figured enough out to show y'all what it can do. I found this free laser cut file and thought it would be perfect. I played around with the settings until the laser cut all the way through the wood. You can find both the machine and the wood I use in my Amazon store. Once the machine was finished cutting, I removed all of the cut pieces. And I tried to keep them in order so I would know how to put this back together. I used an X-Acto knife in a few places where the wood wasn't cut completely through. And as you can see, the small word farmhouse, which goes in the center, broke. But don't worry, I figured out how to repair it. I used some Gorilla Clear Grip glue and a toothpick. I placed a small dab of glue on the edge and held it in place for a moment. I recently found this glue and I have to say I love it. It doesn't set up as quickly as hot glue so it gives you a moment to get everything in line and it has a better hold than hot glue. This is definitely my go-to glue for projects like this. I wanted the wood grain to show, so I used some alcohol markers I found in my stash, and I think I had gotten them five and below. Once I had the frame painted, I applied glue around the edges and attached it to the back piece. For the large word, I used a white paint pen. I wanted it to pop against the natural wood colors. And painted the smaller word with a dark alcohol marker. I attach the words to the frame using more of the Gorilla Glue. And this is where I realized I had painted the wrong side of a few of the letters. I flipped the letters over and repainted them before attaching. And once I had everything in place, I had this amazing piece for a tea air tray or a shelf. 
Let me know what you think of this adorable farmhouse sign in the comments. I am trying to figure out the best camera angle for my new X-Tool D1 laser engraver. So, please excuse this crazy looking shot. I purchased this laser file from Design Bundles and decided to create a small window with it. I loaded the file into Lightburn and sized it to my desired size and set my settings to cut it out. XTool did not sponsor this video in any way, so this is just my honest opinion on this machine. I love this machine, and I am so excited to show you one of the things it can do. The machine I got was the 5 watt, but I've already decided I'll be getting a higher powered laser in the future. The 5 watt works great, it's just slower than the 10 and the 20 watt lasers. Once the cut was finished, I removed the tape from the sides, which I had used because the wood was a little bowed and I wanted it to lay flat. Plus, this holds the wood in place in case I needed to make any extra cuts. Perfect. Everything cuts smooth and looks amazing. I painted the window panes with white chalk paint. And then used a dark alcohol marker for the word home. And just look at how stinking cute. Check out the link to my online store for this amazing little window pane. I used a small piece of scrap wood for this Hobby Lobby dupe. My husband and I went to Hobby Lobby over the weekend and I fell in love with Scarlin. I knew I had scrap wood, and with my new laser engraver, I wanted to give it a try. I placed the wood on my cutting board, dropped down the kickstand to set the distance between the laser and the wood, set the distance by moving the little lever, and then moved the laser module back to the home position. I created a box in Lightburn, the same size as the scrap wood I was using, and converted it to a tool layer. I added the words and then changed the fonts. I lined the words up the way I wanted them to appear on the wood and converted the layer to a cut layer. I set my speed, power, and the number of passes for the engraving. I sent the cut to the laser and got the wood in position. Now 
Now that the engraving is finished, I began cleaning everything up. First, I used an old toothbrush to remove the loose, charred pieces from the wood. and then use this little scraping tool to remove more of the stubborn little pieces. I mixed a little bit of water with some white chalk paint and applied it to the little tag. and then wiped everything down with a baby wipe. I went over the letters on the tag with white chalk paint and a small paintbrush. And then distressed the tag with a fan brush and white chalk paint. Drilled a hole in the top of the tag. And added some Dollar Tree wood beads. I was so excited when I went to my local Dollar Tree and they had the round and square beads. I use beads all the time, so I bought every string they had. I applied Jolie Finishing Wax to both the tag and the beads. And look at how stinking sweet it turned out. You'll find this product along with others in my online store and you'll find a link to it in the description. I still haven't quite figured out the angle for my machine, but this is better. For this DIY, I used four Dollar Tree blocks. I placed one of the blocks under the laser and use the little kickstand on the side to set the distance of the laser from the block. The X tool makes it simple to set the distance with the kickstand, and you don't have to worry about losing it because it's attached to the laser module. And then move the laser back to the home position. I used Lightburn to create and size the letters for the word home and began engraving them onto each of the blocks. I changed the angle of the camera and I think I like this one better. At least y'all can see what the laser's doing. I placed a small mark in the center of each block and used my drill to drill holes large enough for my string to go through. I used some unicorn spit stain and water to stain each of the blocks. and then use Jolie Finishing Wax to seal and protect the blocks. I 
I strung the blocks and some felt beads I had gotten from my Amazon store onto a piece of string and tied a knot at the ends. And just look at how adorable. Let me know what you think of these adorable little blocks in the comments. You can find these ready to add your own touch blocks to your decor by checking out my online store. You'll find a link in the description. This is actually the first cut project I tried with the X-Tool D1. I should have ran a couple of more passes over it so the laser would have cut the wood better. Lesson learned. I had to use an X-Acto knife to cut through a good bit of the cut. If I would have ran over it a couple more times, the pieces would have been a lot easier to remove. I used some white gel stain and a baby wipe on the back piece for the project. And then a dark brown alcohol marker for the centerpiece. And finally, a lighter alcohol marker for the wreath section. I found these markers in my stash and wanted to give them a try. I really like the way they allow the wood grain to show like stain does. I used a toothpick and applied some Gorilla Clear Grip glue to the front piece and then pressed it into place on the back piece. To hold everything in place, I used two small binder clips until the glue had time to dry. And just look at how stinking sweet the little wood wreath turned out. I created mine only four inches so it would fit on a TA tray. But you can make it larger or even smaller depending on how you want to use it. Please take a second to like this video and leave me a comment. This really helps my channel to grow so others, just like yourself, can find me. If you just found me, I hope you will join our little family by hitting the subscribe button. If you are already part of the family, thank you so much for your love and support. Y'all are the absolute best. Check out my new Amazon store for craft supply and farmhouse home decor recommendations. All the products I use from Amazon in my videos can be found there. Until next time, happy crafting!